Hi, Robert Serfolio from New York City. We're going to show you how to position the patient quickly and not waste time. First, there's a towel underneath for lifting. You have someone hold the hands on the opposite side of what's going up. So this guy's having a right upper lobe segment in S1 and in S6. So his right chest is up, left lateral of the cube. Two, you find the break in the table, which is here. That break needs to be over the eighth and ninth rib, because that's where you're going for a robot. For a VATS, it's over the seventh. For a Thorcotin, it's over the sixth. So he has to come down to the break. Watch how we do it quickly. No bean bag, total waste of time, no arm board, no A-line, no type of cross, no type of screen, no nonsense. Double loading was put in in under 10 seconds. Or how long? Okay, now it's 20 seconds. One, two, three, go. This gets tucked here. Out of the way. Controls to me, please. Controls on the way to Fed control this black box under the table to me, please. All right. Step over. All right. Watch the controls if you have this bed. It's flexed down first, so the break is just about perfect. We'll need two razors for this gentleman. Now you go reverse, because the last thing you want is your anesthesiologist, your teammate, to be working down by their knees. So you bring this up second, and you break them again. Important, you want this not parallel to the floor, but a little bit of an angle. And the reason for that is, you don't want the right upper lobe or the left upper lobe especially, um, you don't want that flopping down on you. So you want a little bit of an angle like this with a maximum break. You don't need a bean bag, that's ridiculous. You don't need an axillary roll, that's ludicrous. If you want to put a roll here to help you break and you can, but this patient doesn't need it. That's it, turn it off.